What's up, Aquarius? Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, what's up? Come on in here, hop on the couch, kick your feet up, relax, and enjoy yourselves, boo. Grab your weed, blood, cigarettes, drink fruit, water. Hell, I don't give a fuck just to you. But allow me to say thank you to all my beautiful subscribers for all the love and support that you show me. Because you don't have two booze and you're doing for that. It truly means the world to me. Thank you so much, my love bugs. All right my lovely aquas we're back with another love reading on how your person feels about you all righty so let's get started first card we got is the seven of pentacles taurus virgo capricorn so this person wants to come in they want they've been reflecting they've been reevaluating, and they want to come in and invest because they know you invested a lot in the past and now they want to come invest okay we got the star card you aquarius all right they feel that you're their wish fulfillment, all right? And they have, um, they want to heal this situation. They want to heal the connection be between the two of you. They got a whole lot of hope and faith, okay? Mm -hmm. But they feel that you're their wish fulfillment. And they're ready to, ready to come in and invest with you. All right. We got the higher Taurus, so they're ready to take this um, commitment to a higher level of commitment after learning a lot of lessons and gaining a lot of knowledge. They're ready to come in and heal the situation now. They're ready to come in and invest with you because they know that you're their wish fulfillment. They got a whole lot of hope and faith in the situation. All right, we got the Eight of Swords. Eight of, the fuck is eight of, we got the Eight of, eight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So this person has been um, stuck in their head, trapped in their mind, having negative thoughts. Okay, but even though they've been having negative thoughts, they still want to come in and take this to a higher level of commitment because, you know what I'm saying? They gained, a, they've been learned, they learned a lot of lessons, and the lot, the knowledge that they gained, they now, um, they've been reevaluating, has um, made them reevaluate and reflect what they was doing and what they wasn't doing when it came to you, okay? And now they want to come heal things. Now they want to come and invest because, like I said, they know you invested a lot. Excuse me, no, it's itching. We got the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Some of you could be dealing with this King of Wands. All right. Um, maybe this King of Wands wants to come in and invest. Uh, but yeah, they will be coming. They will be taking action. Okay, this person is a boss. Okay, this person. Um, takes action with a lot of passion all right they're very charming okay have a way with their words mm -hmm. can charm you right up out your panties or your drawers all right but yeah they ready to come in and invest okay they learned some they learned some shit since you guys have not been together okay they have learned some life experiences we got the hangman, Pisces, okay? Yeah, they seeing things. After learning all these lessons, okay, and gaining all this knowledge now and, re and doing all this reflecting and reevaluating, this is what caused them to see things in a different perspective, okay? Well, after learning all these lessons, gaining all this knowledge, okay, reflecting and reevaluating, now they seeing things in a different perspective, and now they want to come invest and heal the situation, the connection between the two of you, okay? Mm-hmm. After sitting on the fence, mm-hmm, sitting on the fence, being stuck, not moving, not doing nothing, just being stagnant, okay? But we got the, um, we got the Ten of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, so something was difficult, something was heavy, all right? Something felt, felt like a lot of work, all right? Felt like the weight of the world was on their shoulders, all right? Something is a burden, okay? This person wants to release a burden, okay? Something wants to, yeah, wanting to release a burden, something that is a burden to them, okay? Or they could be seeing you as releasing a burden, releasing something that was heavy, you know what I'm saying? Something that was hard work, something that, that was the weight of the world on your shoulders, okay? Mm -hmm. Just apply to your life how it may fit, then leave the rest. But yeah, I think they're seeing it 
I think they're seeing things in a different perspective now on something that was um, a burden, something that was heavy. All right? Mm -hmm. Something that was very difficult. They seeing a different perspective. They seeing things in a different perspective now. And now we got the Nine of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. They don't want to give up. Okay? They don't want to give up on this connection. They want to keep fighting. Yes, they do, even though they still trapped in their head. All right? They don't want to give up. Mm-hmm. They can still be holding on to some grudges and some baggage, but they don't want to give up. All right? And they will be coming in to take action. All right? They will be coming in and taking action. But the way these cards look, and it look like this King of Wands is coming in to invest because they seeing the, you, Aquarius, in a different perspective. And it falls under the Hierophant, falls under the Ten of Wands. So, you know, for some of you, maybe they were married. You know what I'm saying? Maybe something, you know, this ma they was married to something. Maybe it's for some of you, you was married to them or they could have been married to somebody else. And they realized, that, you know what I'm saying, that it was a burden. You know, and they want to release this burden. For some of you, it could have been with a Taurus. Everybody's story is different. Apply to your life and lead the rest. Okay? Some of you, they will be released. They want to release this burden. You know what I'm saying? Because it's very heavy. It's very difficult. You know what I'm saying? This marriage with this person. And even though it got them trapped and stuck in their head, they still don't want to give up with you. Okay? They don't want to give things up with you. They want to keep going with you, and they will be taking action to come and invest in you because they're finally seeing things different, okay? And they're ready to come heal things with you. All righty. We got, I'm starting to understand our connection. You were the best thing in my life. Oh, I feel you leaving me behind. I love you unconditionally. Bottom of the deck, I love you. We got practice forgiveness. Trust your intuition. Fighting it. The harder I try to resist you, the weaker I seem to be. I love you. I love you more than I have ever found a way to say to you. I think this person, when they come in, they want you to practice forgiveness when they come in. Okay, but Spirit is saying trust your, trust your intuition. All right, trust your intuition. All right, we got a fire sign maybe involved for some of you. We got an earth sign maybe involved for others. Okay, and cleanse, cleanse your energy. Now is a good time to cleanse your energy and the space around you. All right, we got an attempt to get him. We got miserable as fuck. We got just leave. It's not working out. We got not really into her. She's not. She's in love with me. So I feel that, um, yeah, this person is, um, this burden is something that's difficult. This person is going through is this marriage that they're dealing with with this person. And this person is very miserable as fuck with this person because they're not into this person. They're into you. And then, you know what I'm saying? And, and I think this person that they're dealing with be trying to attempt, you know, attempt them and shit but they ain't, they ain't they ain't into them like that you know what i'm saying and they thinking about leaving they thinking about releasing this burden all right because they're not into this person but they're only with them because of the kids because it's kids on this card see he's got kids on his back so they're only there because of the kids all right not because of the person yeah and both of these pictures yeah they're 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 not facing each other. So, yeah, they don't want to have nothing to do with this person. Okay, and this person know that this, and this other person know for some of you that they like you, okay, that they, they're into you, and this is why they're trying to attempt them, you know, trying to pass advances and shit. But they ain't into this person like that. You see how you ain't paying no attention to her? I'm like, what that bitch? But anywho, let's get you in it. Oh, yeah, I already got the advice cards. The advice cards, because I thought um, my damn memory came stopped in the phone, so I just left the cards like they were. But anywho, we got the woman holding a card in deceit. Let's read it. Read it. 
want to hold a card is a, uh, a Taurus Virgo Capricorn to me, and I feel that uh, a Taurus Virgo, a, a Taurus Virgo Capricorn woman is being deceitful for some of you. But let me read the book. 42, 6, 7, and 25 may be significant to some of you. Hidden tactics, manipulation. The cards come as a warning that there may be some deception going on in your life. This person hiding behind the curtain is likely someone you know or deal with either personally or professionally. The duplicity could be regarding a personal issue, like someone spreading rumors or disrespecting you to others, or it could be a business matter where details are being hidden or even manipulated. Be aware of what's going on in your life. The man behind the curtain is holding a bag of something valuable, so watch your money and your good name. You may have to have all information. You need to keep things honest and secure. A deeper layer of meaning may be that the deception is actually coming from within. Is there something that you're lying to yourself about? In this case, the bag of values may be holding things like a self-esteem happiness and even leisure time whether it's about your life or yourself remember the universe has a hard time sending you honor honoring experiences if your energy is shrouded in self-deceit what is that one 42 All right, female connection and money, health, or value the elegant dressed woman on this card sits on a beautiful chair holding a bright coin when the coin comes up right in a qualm, in a woman's reading, it may refer to her directly and to a successful endeavor regarding her own finances or health. This card also sig signal a woman of support or assistance regarding these issues. She may be, she may give you financial advice or connect with you some, with someone who does. This woman may be someone you meet where you make your money or it may be a woman of wealth and value. Either way, this card is telling you to be on the lookout for help for assistant or assistance or even the possibility of new love or friendship connected to a woman of wealth or business. All right, me love, so I'm gonna leave it here and if this resonated with you guys, go ahead and give your girl a big thumbs up. If not, go ahead and give your girl a big thumbs down. I really don't give a fuck as long as you take you to the message. All right, me love, so thanks for watching and until next time, same bad time, same bad channel. All right, deuces.